guy here, and this is the Farm TMR Dash Milk Building by Chumpy Farmer for Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 for this test and demonstration on Rock Crawl here. Um, now this is a pack of two placeables. It also has a milk extension and it's a bit of a curious animal this one. So let's first find the main building. Not here, but under uh, factories, production, and there we go. So here it is, TMR and milk building, 13 slots on console. And uh, place it down wherever you like, preferably near to a your cow um, pen, uh, for reasons we will discuss a little bit later. Uh, no alternate um, colors or anything like that. So there you have that. Now it does come with a milk extension. This I placed here. That you're going to find under. Uh, what is it? Uh, silo extensions. There we go. And I believe I didn't check the. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to. Whoops. Uh, we're going to double check the slot count on that. There we go. So let's place it again. Silo extensions. There it is. So it's three slots. You can actually place it anywhere if you want to put it on the roof or whatever, the toggle free mode, but we won't. We're going to put one right there. And uh, so this is 5 million liter extension. What's curious about this um, is we have an output shaft here for the TMR, but uh, the description says uh, you'll also be able to get milk out of here once you place the extension down close to the building. This door opens and closes. Here is the um, manage production point. If we go in there, we don't see a milk volume here at all. So it's uh, this is a bit curious. I haven't run the I haven't run anything yet. So this is pre pre test if you want the setup. Uh, we see a TMR production is pretty nice. Or at least it looks nice on the on a surface. 2,160 cycles per month, $120 a month. Production cost. Recipe is 2,000 of silage, uh, 1,200 of hay, 500 straw, and 300 corn. Yes, no mineral feed. Corn seems to be replacing the mineral feed. And 4,000 output, which all those numbers add up to 4,000. So, capacities, silage, 2 million hay, 1.2 million straw, and uh, straw is 500,000 and corn is 300,000. So it looks like, yes, indeed, those numbers match up. You just add a zero or, well, a few zeros, three zeros at the end of those other numbers. Apparently, 5 million liters is the capacity of TMR. Um, I don't know if we're going to test that particularly, but I guess it depends on how fast this thing goes. And so anyways, that is where we're at. Uh, I do have a cow pen, a small cow pen located close by here. So they have water, but no food. What we're going to do is run this and get the TMR and then use that TMR to feed our cows. And then see if uh, if we can get the milk storage to uh, to come out of this pipe instead of the milk storage here which is odd because it does have a milk output here I don't know that's what the that's what the mod description says um, shall I, I shall read it actually it says this mod includes one TMR production building and a milk extension container there is an open spot on the TMR building I'm guessing that's over here is maybe somewhere that will fit the milk extension in free placement mode very nicely. The pipe of the TMR building will let you load the milk as well as the TMR when you're ready to feed your cattle or transport your milk. This should be a good fit for any cattle farm. So that is what we're going to test. But first of all, we're going to run the TMR. So before I forget, there we go. We have turned it on. We are going to... Um, 
Come back in a month, see how much TMR we get. Input is here, obviously. Maybe not so obvious. Uh, oh, look at that. She is running. <laughs> Bottom right corner, the numbers are flying off the page there. Uh, straw is accepted in bales, so that's nice. We'll show you that in a minute, but we're going to go sleep, and we're going to come right back. Okay, so we're back, and how did that go? Well, looky here. Uh, Four million um, liters, uh, which is totally, I could have probably guessed that. It used up all the product, and uh, we got a little over four million liters of uh, TMR, which is kind of funny because that's more than what we put in, but... So, bales, straw bales, yes, takes bales. So bales of all kinds, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, wow, you know what? Oh, lights are automatic, by the way. Uh, come on at night, go on, uh, go off during the day. Uh, that's probably one of the better, if not top two, three, TMR production that's that's incredibly fast plus it doesn't take um, mineral feed it's and it holds 5 million liters so this is ticking a lot of really good boxes for me so knowing that works so well let's come in here and uh, fill up our TMR. TMR output is not all that fast. Uh, not Well, it's not too bad, though, I guess. To be honest, it is a tad slow. And I don't see it coming out, so that's a bit odd. Let's uh, jump, 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 jump. Um, yeah, so it's filling up. It's yeah, there's no uh, there's no animation for it coming out. So that's a bit odd, but uh, I don't think the cows the, this cow pen does not take that much food. So, whoa. So let's um, use our TMR that we just made. It won't automatically transfer because cow pens do not play with factories. So in case you are wondering, uh, we're not going to put straw in there. It doesn't need straw to produce milk. Uh, yeah, no milk is produced because they didn't have any water. But they got water and food now. And so we're going to run it one more time. Uh, we might as well shut. Yes, we did shut that off. There's plenty of TMR. That's... An incredible amount of TMR produced in, well, actually just under it because we, we still have a little bit of time left. It, it sucked it dry pretty darn quick. So, yeah, very nice. Right. So now we're going to test out the milk. If we can get milk out of here. Let's, uh, we got water in this one. Let's, uh, I have another tank here. Let's hook up this tank and just see... Right now, if it'll do anything at all going underneath this pipe here for a uh, trigger, if you, I'm, I'm even going to get a fill. Start filling. Well, there we go. It, I got the start filling thing come up for the liquid tank, so that's a good sign. We're going to run it, and we're going to come right back. So, see you in a minute. All right, so we go over to our cows. We have milk, not much, 1,828. But look at the uh, cap like the capacity there is showing the water, 3,000. So 3,000 liters of water. So we're looking at the three, nine, 10,000 liters probably. So three is halfway. The, the 1,800, it's barely a blip on there. So the extension is working. We're not, that's not an issue there are we going to be able to get milk and yes we do we got all of the milk out of that pipe so what does this mean well the question i have is 
will it work if I don't have the milk extension? And so what we're going to do is just remove the milk extension. And uh, we're going to uh, make sure they have food. So we give them food and we give them some more water, make sure they're all topped up very nice and, and happy and make some more milk. And we're going to see if we can, uh, if it works without that extension, because the extension's nice, 5 million liters. Um, how, and the TMR building does not ha show a capacity for milk storage. So I'm just kind of curious if that if that that pipe that uh, milk output pipe would still work even though the um, building does not have a capacity for milk if it's just going to be as a spout for the the milk if I hopefully hopefully you're following me along here so we're going to run it again where our cows are nice and full 6,000 liters of water and TMR is fully topped up so we're going to run it again one more time to see if we have to have that milk extension or not All right, so we're back and we have milk again. Look at that, 2250. So you can see, it just looks like there's a lot more or a lot less capacity there that we didn't have that milk extension. So now the, tr now the question is, let's empty this just to make sure it's empty that we're not mysteriously thinking we get in something or not. So as we come up here, do we still get the start filling? Start filling and no, nada, nothing. So that means you must put down the extension. So let's put down the extension. Again, silo extension, there we go. Bam, five million liter extension. Now we come up over here and we do we get the fill? One, where is it? There we go. Start filling. And no, no, no. It was, it did work before though. You've seen that it did work for before. I think now we have to, uh, see, look at, look at the 2250. It has considerably, considerably shrunk that little bar there. Maybe if we come up to it again. I'm, I'm kind of really messing with it because obviously... I placed it down. It was good. I think we have... To, I think it has to... You have to uh, run some... Pass some time by or something. Uh, let's do this. Real time. There we go. Let's, let's just kind of zip time forward and see if we can get... 7.23.43. Okay. So let's stop the time again. I think it's just, you, you, if it doesn't, still doesn't work, you did see that, it, so you place it down first and then, yeah, it's, I think, let's see if this fixed it, if we had to go forward once after we, there we go. So, oh, it just held the milk that, after I placed it. Oh, so someone's still in there. It take this takes the place of the storage for here. Hmm, interesting. There's still 2250, but I ran it. We ran time forward, and there was some milk in the extension. So that's interesting. Something I didn't know before. And I apologize to you if I'm experimenting while I'm filming, but this is basically a little demonstration of how I figure things out. But now you know it does work. So place it all down first, and as the cows produce the milk, it will send it to the extension, and then you can be able to take it out of here. Either way, just as a TMR production, it is fantastic. So two maxes and an approved by me. 
And there it is. That's the Farm TMR Milk Building by Chumpy Farmer on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.